Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Friday, March the 11th. It's the first week in Lent and week three in the Psalm cycle. And please join me. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. I waited patiently for you, my God, and you bent down and heard my cry. Amen. Psalm 40, and please recite it with me. I bent down, I waited patiently for you, my God, and you bent down and heard my cry. You brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay. And you set my feet upon a high rock and established my paths. You have put a new song in my mouth. Praise to you, our God. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in you. Blessed are they that put their trust in you and do not respect the proud nor liars. Many are your wonderful works and your plans for us. None can be compared to you. If I would tell and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire. My ears you have opened. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. In your book it is written of me that I delight to do your will, O oh my God. Yes, your law is written in my heart. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. You know that I have not kept quiet. I have not hidden your justice within my heart. I've declared your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your loving kindnesses nor your truth from the great congregation. Do not withhold your tender love from me, my beloved God. Let your loving kindness and your truth always preserve me. For innumerable evils have crowded in on me. My sins have taken hold of me so that I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head, and I lose heart. Be pleased, O beloved God, to deliver me. O my God, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek to destroy me. Let them be driven backward and put to shame that wish me evil. Let all those that seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let them that love your salvation always say, God most high be glorified. I'm poor and needy, and yet you remember me. You are my helper and my savior. O oh my God, do not delay. Amen. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I waited patiently for you, my God, and you bent down and heard my cry. Amen. Genesis chapter 40, beginning at verse 1. Sometime after this, the cupbearer of the king of Egypt and his baker offended their lord, the king of Egypt. Pharaoh was angry with his two officers, the chief cupbearer and the chief baker, and he put them in custody in the house of the captain of the guard, in prison where Joseph was confined. The captain of the guard charged Joseph with them, and he waited on them, and they continued for some time in custody. One night they both dreamed, the cupbearer and the baker of the king of Egypt, who were confined in the prison, each his own dream, and each dream with its own meaning. When Joseph came to them in the morning, he saw that they were troubled, and so he asked Pharaoh's officers, who were with him in custody in his master's house, Why are your faces downcast today? And they said to him, We have had dreams, and there is no one to interpret them. And Joseph said to them, Do not interpretations belong to God? Please tell them to me. So the chief cupbearer told his dream to Joseph and said to him, In my dream there was a vine before me, and on the vine there were three branches. As soon as it budded, its blossoms came out, and the clusters ripened into grapes. Pharaoh's cup was in my hand. And I took the grapes and pressed them into Pharaoh's cup, and he placed the cup in Pharaoh's hand. Then Joseph said to him, This is its interpretation. The three branches are three days. Within three days, Pharaoh will lift up your head and restore you to your office. 
and you shall place Pharaoh's cup in his hand just as you used to do when you were his cupbearer. But remember me when it is well with you. Please do me the kindness to make mention of me to Pharaoh, and so get me out of this place. For in fact, I was stolen out of the land of the Hebrews. And here also I have done nothing that they should have put me into the dungeon. When the chief baker saw that the interpretation was favorable, he said to Joseph, I also had a dream. There were three cake baskets on my head, and in the uppermost basket there were all sorts of baked food for Pharaoh, but the birds were eating it out of the basket on my head. And Joseph answered, This is its interpretation. The three baskets are three days. Within three days Pharaoh will lift up your head from you and hang you on a pole, and the birds will eat the flesh from you. On the third day, which was Pharaoh's birthday, he made a feast for all his servants, and he lifted up the head of the chief cupbearer and the head of the chief baker among his servants. He restored the chief cupbearer to his cupbearing, and he placed the cup in Pharaoh's hand. But the chief baker he hanged, just as Joseph had interpreted to them. Yet the chief cupbearer did not remember Joseph, but forgot him. Here ends the lesson. Save me, O God, by your name, and judge me by your strength. Amen. Psalm 54, and please recite it with me. Save me, O God, by your name, and judge me by your strength. Hear my prayer, O God. Give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen against me, and oppressors seek my life. They have not set you before themselves. Behold, you are my helper. You sustain my soul. You shall reward evil to my enemies, and cut them off in your truth. I will freely sacrifice to you. I will praise your name, for it is good. For you have delivered me of all trouble and my eyes have seen the ruin of my enemies. Amen. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Save me, O God, by your name, and judge me by your strength. Amen. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 3, beginning at verse 16. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For God's temple is holy and you are that temple. Do not deceive yourselves. If you think that you are wise in this age, you should become fools so that you may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he catches the wise in their craftiness. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are futile. So let no one boast about human leaders, for all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas, or the world or life or death, or the present or the future. All belong to you, and you belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to God. Here ends the lesson. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. None can be compared to you, O God. Remember your people and be our help when you hear our cry. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.